Hello my guys, football fan TV, it's myself Paul Neal and I'm here with the instant match reaction. Uh, Ireland 3, Gibraltar 0. Steve Kenny made some changes, brought them in, they did well. Uh, Obafemi maybe not so much uh, in terms of the starting players, but I thought that um, Nathan Con or not Nathan Con, sorry, Darrow Shea and uh, Jason Knight did very well and um, Jamie McGrath as well in particular. Um, I know the FAI gave player of the match to Jason Knight and he, he, he probably in a lot of people's eyes he deserved it. Um, my player of the match would have been uh, Mikey Johnson. He was involved in all three goals and looks a real live wire. Looks, looks a real player, but I'll come to him in a sec. Uh, obviously he came on at half time, but the first half we were we were just over hitting crosses and we were just unlucky I think in terms of just getting one going our way and I think that's what happened in the second half eventually. Something fell our way because a lot of things weren't, a lot of balls going into the box and um, we were just missing a, by a half a second, it was just gone over people's heads and the delivery just wasn't getting there but we got there in the end as I said and uh, yeah it wasn't until the second half then that we got into it and started scoring goals but you did feel as though if we got one we'd get a few and a few goals would flow, I did tweet that at half time and that's what happened. Um, in terms of the first half we did have a, a few chances, Jamie McGrath had two uh, big chances I'd probably say, the, t the two biggest chances of the half and then um, in the second half then Mikey Johnson came on for Nathan Collins and that's when the game changed, we went 4-3-3, I think it was 4-3-3 anyway but we went with a fourth back um, and we just started to get a full hold of the game and then yeah, um, Evan Ferguson well around the edge of the box gets a handball off the defender and then we uh, we had the result of free kick with Smallbone hits at the wall and a, look, a lucky break and it falls to Johnson, he makes it 1-0, his first goal for Ireland and that'll give him huge confidence to score here at the Aviva and then um, a while later Evan Ferguson scores in the 60th minute with, uh, with a fine header, great ball in by James McLean that we spoke about in the first half, those balls that were just a little bit off, he found it, he hit bullseye there and Evan Ferguson made no mistake hammered home at 2-0 and we were deserved to be up and look I know it's only Gibraltar um, but we were hitting chances the keeper made off a, a, a few good saves as well um, I'm sure we'll be talking about him in the final word tomorrow but I thought he made some really good saves um, yeah then uh, Brown came on thought he'd done well uh, but Mikey Johnson was involved in all the goals and uh, he plays a little ball with McLean and uh, McLean again finds Ida who came on as a late sub uh, good for him to get his first international goal and I was happy for him to get off the marker again I know it's only Gibraltar but it's still it's him breaking his duck here at the Aviva and uh, yeah this, like there were some really good chances uh, Josh Cullen was unlucky not to get a goal as well um, McLean was unlucky not to get a goal it was deflected right here and I thought McLean had a really good game for his 100 cap and uh, it was a nice fitting game for him uh, but yeah, and he looked like he was really enjoying himself but my player of the match has got to be Mikey Johnson he came on at half time and completely changed the game and Stephen Kenny got that spot on in fairness he's taken a lot of criticism this week but he did get that substitution spot on um, in the first half I know fans were booing for half time not all the fans but you could definitely hear fans booing uh, they didn't feel like it was good enough but I do think he sent the lads out with um, with something to prove in the second half or maybe he might have said look my job is on the line lads I need just to to help me out here and get get the result but yeah I thought um, I thought Ferguson had a quiet game but it didn't matter he still got the goal he, 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 in the first half he got a chance and he made it from nothing but he just turned he was on around the 20 second mark and he just got the ball out of nothing turned snapshot bang and then everyone kind of went oh, oh yeah that's why uh, everyone fears this guy he can make something of nothing and then yeah when he's getting on the end of crosses and stuff like that it's good for him, that's two goals and two starts for him at the Aviva, so may that, long may that continue now. Um, sorry, that's uh, two and three, so he didn't score against France. Um, but two and three, uh, ideally we want them scoring against France at the Aviva, he, he can't do that now in this campaign. But yeah, uh, he nearly had a goal, another goal there, just looking at the replay there beside me here, and he nearly had uh, another header, which was well saved as well by the keeper. Uh, great ball in by Alan Brown. Which I did, look, I think everyone came in tonight with a point to prove. I thought Jason Knight on that right wing back position was brilliant and he could probably give Stephen Kenny something to think about in future games as well. But that's my, my instant reaction, reaction. It was a reaction from the players and I'm happy. Again, um, there's going to be questions that asked about the manager and I think that's a whole separate video. But for tonight, I'm going to enjoy the victory. And uh, yeah, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll speak to you soon.